ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions and another six-star character gameplay preview video. And today, we got all new Rhea Ripley, The Judgment Day, and uh, she's got a killer overbite there, weird head shape. Other than that, looking pretty good. Tattoos looking pretty good. And, um, yeah, well, uh, the poster art looks incredible here. Poster art looks incredible. Love that with the wings. She's a trainer. Protect gems. Will reduce damage by up to 65%. Yellow moves starting with up to 2 MP. That's going to be super useful. When we look at the moves, we'll note the Nightmare Lock is a 5-star move. The Headbutt is a 6-star move. We're going to jump right into the 6-star move set. Um, triple blue here. Northern Light Suplex. 5 charge. Deal 97,000 damage. Choose a 5 by one to make into Pyro Gems. When broken by me, modify all gems above it into one-turn countdown gems. That will deal 32,000 damage and make two random gems into blue at the end of the countdown. So one-turn countdowns, that's going to spam blue, break the whole board up, recharge these. Uh, we can make Pyro Gems into Black Gems here, so that's how we activate them. And then we have the Headbutt deal 85,000 damage and steal up to 713,000 health. So, we got Edge Brood here for blue gem damage. We got Roman uh, here for health steal, 50%. So, we're up to a million health steal. We got Santa Hogan, 17k. With the max tour perks, that's going to let these five charges start on turn one. That gives us 2,200. Any color gem damage, Hall of Fame China gives us 20% blue. We're rocking double Fury 2. I realize that's a purple metal. I don't have a blue one. We'll use purple for the other set. And I got the Z plate, so we can get 50% increased gem damage when we make the countdown gems. So, we're going to get out here against Bianca. I'm going to preface by saying that I know I'm against a 5-star gold in this video. Uh, there's one 6-star female right now with Zelina, and she's got a, uh, a jerk plate on. Um, escape artist, so I can't really do much. I guess I could have used this uh, moveset against her. But... Um, I will also say that I did go into tag matches and test my damage with these because there are some tag matches with six stars on the on the tours right now and nothing I did with Rhea with any set was doing Man, that's gonna cascade there anything that I did with Rhea was the the most damage with any move set was right around three million. So there was really um, nothing that was going to matter beyond this. So we would have done the same damage output. The match will be over here. There's nothing really to see with it. 2.2 uh, .2 million right there reduced. That ended it. But you filled back up. You would steal the health again the next turn. Set the countdowns out again. And you would just, every turn, you're just going to keep rotating that. Million damage. Get the countdowns out there. Boom. So there is another variation of this set that we will show real quick. So if you're not at six star, you can put the big boot in instead of the health steal. At which point we would take Roman out here. And we will put ridge in right now i'm only doing 30 percent with ridge but he can get up to 100 percent. that might make a difference so we got the big boot deal 106,000 damage plus 41,000 bonus damage for every countdown gem um i did practice this a lot the problem with this set is you cascade all the time and you rarely get a chance to hit the damage move with the countdown gems on the board so um i guess man okay here maybe won't cascade we'd be darn lucky if this didn't cascade it's really every time i've done it it's it's cascaded something there there goes the pin then when she moves the turn back to me the countdown gems will go off which won't allow me to get the bonus damage so you'd have to try it again the next turn so i went ahead and did the math for the move set that we're running for this um, if I would get a perfect world, so five columns minus that, so that's seven times five is 35 minus the five gems off the bottom. That'll break when they turn black, uh, could leave us with 30 of them total plus the bonus damage there. It would be 1.2 million bonus damage there. So that's the most we're going to do with Ridge in his current form. So we'll get out here. We got one more move set to try. I'll show it to you.
Okay, we're going to run a triple purple here. This would be a five-star set. Now, uh, I will, before I go in, I'll let you know, there is a reversal move that I'm not going to use. Six charge black deal, 327,000 damage, kick out a pin and swap nine random gems to purple gems. That can help you charge. So if I'm playing her on defense, I'm going to put that with the Nightmare Lock and the Riptide. But for the sake of playing offensively, I want to use the Electric Chair Face Buster here. So that's a seven charge purple deal, 100,000 damage, make 14 one turn countdown gems. That will deal 26,000 damage and make two random leech gems at the end then we got the nightmare lock seven charge purple sub De generate 16 sub gems and do 173,000 damage for three turns remaining sub gems turn into leech gems of strength 31,266 and then we got the riptide finisher deal 183,000 damage make 28 leech gems into purple and pin the opponent so we did have the z plate on here so we can increase our gem damage by 50 percent um you could swap that for all heart and after you do the sub you can get that purple damage up to a hundred percent either one is going to be good um it's going to be more damage than i need for the sake of this video for changing it but again i can tell you i i actually had recorded all of this once before but my my microphone was apparently messed up uh, my settings got zapped and i had to go in and re-record everything I've done this move set a bunch of times for the purposes of that. I did it against a six star. I set it up in a tag match. And the most I'm doing is around 3 million damage with the all heart plate on even. So was not much more than 3 million damage. So again, that's, that's going to take all the health from this. It won't matter. But I'm telling you that set will hit for 3 million. So you're going to put the countdown gems down. Uh, and then you're going to put the sub gems down. And just hope that enough of that survives to make you a lot of leech on the board here so this can go wrong if a lot of that gets broke during the sub but now we got a lot of leech left and then we can deal 191,000 damage to make 28 leech into purple and we only got the z plate on so i don't know what we're gonna do with damage here i practiced with the all heart which is 50 percent more 2.4 million there so with all heart on it hits for about 3 million that would have dangered her so that's the better variation of that. But again, you can use the reversal to charge the purple. I'm going with the countdown gems and the extra leech gems there. Actually pretty awesome. So, um, you know, double MP trainered out. It's how, did I even go over that or did I just say the moves? Did I even go over what we were doing there? So, uh, sorry, I'm getting confused now because I had to redo everything. So we did go with Farouk for purple move points, two of them. Woods for four purple move points. Santa Hogan for another one. That's how everything was charged turn one. Even without Santa Hogan, with just Farouk and Woods, we would have been good to go because that finisher would have been charged on the next turn with our move point for the turn. And if you don't have Seth for 25% leech gem damage, you could replace that with any blue gem damage person that you have, or any uh, purple gem damage person that you have there would totally help. So that's what I got for you today for Rhea Ripley. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you're already subscribed, smash that thumbs up for me. Those things help me out so much. You have no idea and it's free to you and it takes like two seconds. So help me out until next time y'all. <laughs>